Good evening, my viewers. Um, welcome to my talk show, where today I will be interviewing myself about 2019. And I will be doing this every year and I will be posting it on the 1st of January. So I have five questions to ask myself. Yeah, I ask myself the same questions every year at the same time. So hi, Amy. How are you feeling? Thank you so much for having me today, Amy. Um, this is like truly a honor. Um, I've always watched your show when I was younger and this is like a dream come true. <laughs> Great. Um, so first thing I want you to do, Amy, is to state your name, age, and what's the date today when you're filming this. Um, so, okay, shall I just like look into the camera? Okay. Um, my name is Amy. I am 15 years old and the date today is the 30th of December 2019. Okay, thank you. So the first question I will be asking you today, Amy, is what did you think of this year overall, 2019? So Amy, I would have to say that this year has been pretty tricky for me um, on like many different levels. Um, it hasn't been like the most smooth sailing year, but I like, I don't know, so much has changed like a year ago and I've been through so much, like a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think for other people, it wouldn't be like a bad year, but for me and what like problems I have, it was pretty difficult for me like to go for it all but um okay let's not get too sad today i think like the most important thing about life is that it has to kind of get a bit bad before it gets well you know like there's a lot of change for me and i don't really like change but change is like a sign of something new like i don't know i feel kind of it's kind of like a morphing my life just kind of morphs a lot but i feel like you can grow the most for bad experiences okay so that's what you felt about this year overall. Uh, I hope 2019 is a bit better for you. Um, next question is what are your new year's resolutions for the next year and did you keep your old ones? So my new year's resolutions for 2020 I actually have them written down in my notebook not yours. Um, one is to get more active and exercise more. Two is revise on the go and go to revision sessions at school for like year Ten. And you know, like, you know, just, I just need to do a bit, put a bit more work into school. Um, so number three, spend more time off my phone. Don't know if I'm actually going to do that one. And number four, make everyday life better with, like, new routines. So I want to try new, new, just, like, small ways where I can, like, impact my life somehow. You, you know what I'm talking about. And number five is to try new hobbies and, like, baking and bullet journal. Like, just try to explore my horizons a bit. And as for last year, I actually have them here somewhere. So let me just go and have a look. I mean, I've never been here. This is your studio. <laughs> so I actually brought this with me to your studio, Amy. It's where I got this in Christmas 2017 and I got this one Christmas 2019. But I def did write down, oh God. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking back on this, Amy, and it is looking like I didn't do any of this. Okay. 2018 list was, um, I have a lot, what the hell? Don't say no to everything. Um, I actually did do that. Relax and take risks. Yeah, I did that. Stay fit and eat healthy. I did eat healthy. Be social and talk to more people. Yeah, I kind of did that. Um, I haven't seen this since I wrote this. Do what I love. Yes, I'm doing this. This is shout out to all my fans out there. Um, don't be afraid of change. Didn't do that. A lot of things changed. Didn't like it. Um, what? Watch <laughs> movies. Did a lot of that. Um, succeed in something. Yeah, probably did that. You know, I succeed in like every day. Redo room. Didn't do that. I'm doing it next year. So I did keep some. I like. I did take parts of it, but I haven't. But this year, I really want to do it more. You know. The third question I have for you today. Person, I think that was a great answer. But the next question I will be asking is, has your appearance changed compared to last year? Go ahead and answer this, take your time if you want. Um, that's an interesting question, actually. I actually looked at a photo of myself, um, like January last year, 
and I have changed a lot. I feel like, well, it's a lot of obvious changes. Like my new glasses, my hair, I cut my hair. Um, I think I grew a bit, I'm like still five foot two. And knowledge grew, I learned a lot of new things. Um, and of course, like a year ago, my face used to be much more like chubby and rounder, but now it's a bit more like a literal square. Um, so my face did change and I hope it does change again because not a big fan of this face now. Like I've got really like really sharp jawline for some reason. I don't know, but hopefully that will change. It probably will because that changes my family, but maybe I hopefully you just get a bit longer, not too like. I think that's all well, that's changed this year. Maybe next year will be my, I'll look 10 times better. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of do see it. Your, yeah, your head has gotten changed a bit. Hmm. Oh, okay, that, I think you're done. Yeah, okay. So the next question I have for you is, what's your best memory of this year? Go. Oof, my best memory of this year was probably um, last Easter. Yeah, I went to the countryside for like five days and it was probably like, I don't know, I just felt really good. It was really nice weather. I had a lot of cute outfits. I was swimming like every day. I, I was doing gymnastics as well. And I actually like, after like doing gymnastics and swimming for like hours every day, I actually got pretty fit. <laughs> like within those few days, I got home. Like I realized like I was starting to get abs. I don't know, it was even like four days. I don't know, it sounds a bit crazy. But that, I had a really good time then. Um, it was very nice and bliss. Um, I had a really good time in Italy. It was usually when I'm on holiday when I feel the best. It was probably my best memories. Oh yes, I remember that one. That's a good choice. So the last question I have for you today is what would you like to achieve this next year? Um, next year I would really like to like become a bit more happy in everyday life. Like, you know, like I'm happy now, but I wish I can like go to the next level. Um, I hope I can probably be a bit more social. I don't know, not be afraid like to make plans because I'm a bit shy. Make more memories, take photos, you know, just stuff like that. Um, be a bit more present. Wow, Amy, good luck with that. And that's all we have today for interviewing Amy Clementine. Thank you so much for having me, everyone. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Amy. I hope you enjoyed this. Okay, so I'll see you after the break.